Greetings, my brothers and sisters. I have another powerful, amazing word just for you. Remember that every single day, I am here to release these powerful words. No matter what you are going through, some of you have gone through disappointments. Some of you have gone through attacks. Some of you have gone through things that have made you question the call of God upon your life. But I want to encourage you that if God has really called you, he has really called you. It does not matter what your enemies say. It does not matter what your enemies do or your haters try to put in your way. You will reach your final destination. You will reach to the place that God has purposed for you to be. No matter what they do, no matter what obstruction they, they put in your life, my brothers and sisters, the enemy cannot stop that which is in you. The enemy cannot, uh, cannot uh, try to, to uh, make you wait and wait and wait forever. The Bible speaks about how uh, the vision will come to pass. The dream will come to pass. It may tally. It may, things, it may seem other things are not making sense. Even those around you may uh, try to talk you out of your, of your calling. Those around you may try to doubt the call of God upon your life. But my brothers and sisters, God is faithful. God is faithful. Your friends may not be faithful to you. You may be in a relationship where people have not been faithful to you. Where people have disappointed you. Where people have said all sorts of words against you. Where people have um, tried to um, uh, put you down. But I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, this day, if you feel discouraged, God is still with you. God has never left you. God still has you in his mind. Scripture says he is he's, he's mindful about you. Do you know what that means? That his mind is full of you. That even when you cannot comprehend things that are happening in your life, God is still mindful of you. Remember, you were created in his image and likeness. You have a purpose, my brothers and sisters. You have work to do. Don't let anyone undermine you. Don't let anyone look down on you. Look like look, 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 like, look, look, look at Gideon. Gideon uh, grew up in, a, in an environment where he thought that his family was the weakest. And uh, on top of that, being the weakest, he was, on, he was below the chain. He was below the tree, should I say. He was the weakest among his family. He was the weakest in the whole country, if, you, if I could say that. But when he had an encounter with the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord revealed Gideon to him. The angel of the Lord told Gideon that he is a mighty man of valor. He believed a lie that he was the weakest. And yet the angel of the Lord looked at him as a mighty man of valor. My brothers and sisters in your family, you may not believe that they're the weakest. In your country, in your company, you may not believe that you are a nobody. But I want to tell you that when God has an encounter with you, when you have an encounter with God, he will reveal yourself to you. You will be shocked at what you will hear from the mouth of God. You will be shocked at the knowledge you, you start acquiring. Of how God thinks about you. Some of you, yes, you may have fallen down. You may have sinned and fallen down. But what happens when you sin? You pick up yourself and move. You don't look at the sin. You don't look at where you came from. You look at where you are going. You look at Jesus. Because Jesus will lead you. The moment you start looking at your environment. The moment you start looking at your friends. The moment you start looking at your past. You are going to sink. A story is told about Peter, of how he saw Jesus walk on water. And Peter called out to the master. He called out to the teacher. At first they thought it was a ghost. But on realizing, it was Jesus. It was Jesus walking on water. Then Peter began to walk on water. Maybe one step, two steps, maybe five steps. But when he started looking at his environment... When he started listening to what his environment is telling him, notice that Peter had experience of the sea. Before that, he was a fisherman. He was a professional. So he started looking at the environment. 
He attached his experience as a fisherman to his experience now. Then the Bible says he began to sink. The moment he began to look at the outside, he began to sink. Because he put his eyes off Jesus. Some of you have put your eyes off Jesus. God is calling you out of that clay. God is calling you out of that pit. God is calling you out of that prison. God is calling you out of that financial problem. God is calling you out of that sickness. But he does not want you to look at the sickness. He does not want you to focus on what is around you. He does not want you to focus on your haters or court cases. He wants you to focus on him. The moment you lose focus, that's when you start sinking. Some of you are sinking not because you are a bad person, not because you are not good enough, not because you are not capable. It is because you are looking at the storm. It is because you are focused on the storm instead of focusing on Jesus who is before you. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you that God is more than able to do exceedingly abundantly. So you have to trust in him in the process. Sometimes things may not make sense. The journey may not make sense. It may seem as though things are not counting up. They're not adding up. But don't move by your emotions. Listen to me and listen to me very well. Your emotions can do nothing. That's why the scripture says that we, don't move, we, we move by faith. We move by faith, not by sight. Not by sight. We move by faith. Faith pleases God. Begin to move by faith in the spirit. Don't move by your, by, by your by emotions. By the way you understand things. By the way you comprehend things. Move by faith. My brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. I hope um, you have been strengthened in the Lord by this powerful word. Leave your comment subscribe to this channel send me your message through my email address and my brothers and sisters i would like to let you know that jesus is still on the throne if you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving you can do so through my paypal account remember my paypal account is in the about section if you have other ways where you can give you can let me know through my email address and god will bless you until next time shalom